Tracy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We've got a new cooking video for you today. This is one we traditionally only make at the holidays. We made it at Thanksgiving and we wanted to share it before Christmas. It's sweet potato casserole. This is a family recipe. It actually came from my sister who got it from the pianist in her church when she was newly married. And it's delicious. It's not a marshmallow one, but it's got a brown sugar and pecan topping on it. I hope you enjoy. Today we are making uh, a family favorite. This is a sweet potato casserole. I'm sure a lot of people make them. This is the one that we use. I'm actually trying something new this year. Normally I take sweet potatoes, peel them, boil them on the stove and mash them. But this is my first uh, holiday season with my Instant Pot. So I'm going to give it a shot to cook the sweet potatoes in there. And then we're gonna scoop out three cups to make the casserole. As always, the recipe with the exact amounts and ingredients is listed below. We have a website that contains most all of the recipes that we share here on our channel. I'll go over the list of ingredients really quick. The main casserole uses cooked sweet potatoes, one cup of sugar, some melted butter, two eggs, a half a cup of milk, some vanilla and salt, and then we will mix up the topping, which is one cup of brown sugar, a third a cup of flour, some butter, and we're gonna chop some pecans. Let me show you how we make our sweet potato casserole. Put one cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot, the trivet that came with it. I probably didn't need to scrub them that much, but I did go ahead and take a vegetable brush and scrub the outsides. I'm gonna try cooking them in the skin or the jackets, hope that they'll fall apart and I can just peel away the skins and mash. I need three cups. As I said before in the, in the other part, I have always done these on the stove, so you do not need an Instant Pot. Just peel and dice and cook enough to make three cups of sweet potatoes. I am gonna try these. I'm gonna seal it up. I'm gonna try them on manual high pressure for 18 minutes and then let them natural release and hope for the best. If not, I can always take them off and put them on the stove top, but I think it'll work just fine. Sweet potatoes cooked for 18 minutes. They took, a, think about, I wasn't looking at the timer. I think they took about 12 or 13 minutes to national press, natural pressure release. This is what they look like when they come out. I think they're pretty much gonna come out of the skins because it's just gonna peel away. So I'm gonna get three cups of them mashed and then keep going with the recipe. Half a teaspoon of salt. In the opening picture, I showed Himalayan salt, but I don't want to grind that much, so I'm just gonna pour out a half a teaspoon of table salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of sugar, half a cup of milk. Just a couple little pesky pieces of brown in, so I'm gonna pull those out. Take the filling mixture and put it in a sprayed pan. I think this one is either an eight by eight or a nine by nine, I'm not sure. I think it's a nine by nine. Got the sweet potatoes in the casserole. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the topping. Put the melted butter in with the brown sugar, flour, and pecan. We will sprinkle it, crumble it on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this to be baked later. This recipe can be frozen. You can cover it well with, I would probably use saran wrap and then foil. And then I would probably stick it in a really large, I would have put it in a disposable pan if I was gonna freeze it. And then put it in the freezer and then take it out and thaw it probably the day before. And then I think we bake it at about 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes or until everything's heated through and the topping is brown. So the topping is not crumbly. I'm just gonna kind of drop it and place it, but we're gonna go ahead and get it on here. We'll get it covered and in my fridge to bake later. This is the sweet potato casserole before it goes in the oven. The sweet potato casserole goes in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's hot and bubbly. 
This is a family favorite. I hope you get a chance to make it and enjoy it. As always, thanks so much for stopping by our channel, Let's Cook Y'all. Hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all. Bye.